NCRT Solutions Chapter 4 Quadratic Equations Exercise 4.3 Question 3 The problem is find the roots of the following equations. The very first equation is x minus 1 divided by x equal to 3 x not equal to 0. And the second one is 1 divided by x plus 4 minus 1 divided by x minus 7 equal to 11 divided by 30 where x not equal to minus 4 and 7. Okay, let's take the first one. Now, considering the left hand side, x would be the LCM. Now, x divided by 1 is equal to x, and x times x is equal to x squared. And x divided by this x is 1, and 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And the right hand will be as it is. Now, I can cross multiply here x squared minus 1 equal to 3x. In this step, I will take 3x to the left hand side, and I will write minus 1 as it is. Now, this is the quadratic equation. We can solve it using the method of factorization, completing square or quadratic formula. But this equation cannot be factorized prop cannot be factorized easily actually. So let's solve it by using quadratic formula. In order to solve any particular equation by quadratic formula, we compare it with general quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, and find the values of a, b, and c. If you compare these two equations, I'll get a equal to 1, b equal to minus 3, and c equal to minus 1. And quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. I will be just putting the values of a, b, and c in this quadratic formula. And minus minus 3 plus minus under root of minus 3 square minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a minus minus 3 is equal to plus 3 plus minus square root of minus 3 square is 9 minus 4 times minus 1 is minus 4 times uh, minus 1 is plus 4 divided by 2 here equal to 3 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 not 5 be 13 9 plus 4 is 13 here so x is equal to 3 plus square root of 13 divided by 2 and x equal to 3 minus square root of 13 divided by 2 so this is the solution of given equation so we have to consider positive sign in one case and the negative sign in the second case now the second problem is 1 divided by x plus 4 minus 1 divided by x minus 7 is equal to 11 divided by 30 x not equal to minus 4 and 7 here now in the left hand side I can take LCM here LCM would be x plus 4 x minus 7 now this whole LCM divided by this x plus 4 I'll get x minus 7 and x minus 7 times 1 I'll get x minus 7 here and x plus 4 here equal to 11 divided by 30. Now I'll open brackets here x minus 7 minus x minus 4 divided by x plus 4 x minus 7 equal to 11 divided by 30. This implies this x and this x can get cancelled minus 7 minus 4 is minus 11 and x plus 4 here and x minus 7 here and 11 divided by 30 here now this 11 on the left hand side and this 11 on the right hand side can get cancelled so minus 1 here divided by x plus 4 x minus 7 equal to 1 divided by 30 now I can cross multiply minus 1 times 30 is equal to minus 30 and here I get x plus 4 times x minus 7 so here I get minus 30 equal to now x times x is equal to x square x times 7 x times minus 7 is minus 7x 4 times x is plus 4x minus 28 
so I get here now I can take this minus 30 to the right hand side on the right hand side is x square minus 7x plus 4x is minus 3x minus 28 plus 30 to the right hand side so it's equal to x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 now this equation can be factorized very easily but let's suppose we want to solve it by using quadratic formula so I'll compare this with general quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 I'll get a equal to 1 because it's 1 here b equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 2 and quadratic formula is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a I'll just put the values of a b and c minus minus b so minus p is minus minus 3 plus minus square root of minus 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 2 divided by 2a 2 times 1 equal to 3 minus minus 3 is plus 3 plus minus square root of minus 3 square is 9 minus 8 because 4 times 2 is 8 divided by 2 equal to 3 plus minus square root of 1 divided by 2 and it's equal to 3 plus minus 1 square root of 1 is 1 divided by 2 therefore I have x equal to 3 plus 1 divided by 2 and x equal to 3 minus 1 divided by 2 so in one case I will have to consider this positive sign and in another case I will have to consider this negative sign so I get here x equal to 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2 and here I get x is equal to 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 here so x is equal to 2 and 1 so this is a solution of given equation just one so in the next video I'll be covering question number 4 exercise 4.3 chapter 4 quadratic equations see you guys